Thank you very much, Honorable Dato Ama Speaker, for this opportunity to participate in the debate on the Strata Management Bill 2019. This, uh, I noticed that this Strata Management Bill 2019 provides a dedicated law to regulate the management and maintenance of strata properties, and it is indeed very timely. I also note that this bill ensures that all buildings with strata titles and those common properties will always be adequately maintained and there is enough funds for the maintenance of the same. I note that this bill will ensure that the decision on the management and maintenance of strata properties shall be met through a dem democratic process and ensure that this democratic process will help raise market confidence in strata development. And I'm sure it will happen and this is certainly something that the community and, the, and developers at large appreciate and welcome. I notice this bill ensures that developers will not be able to shirk responsibilities and will manage strata building until a management corporation for the building has been fully established. This is certainly very good. And it ensures that the purchaser, owner of respective units pay up monthly management charges promptly, which is a problem now. People don't pay up and there's no laws to govern this, and I'm glad that we have it now. And there's a certain amount of money that will be kept away for future major maintenance of this building. And with this law, monies will be held in trust by the management body, responsibly and not uh, to be abscond with. I know that all management meetings must be conducted strictly in accordance to the terms of reference provided for under this proposed amendment bill, which also provides for a mixed development situation where commercial and residential buildings come hand in hand and this law allows the formation of subsidiary management corporation to manage common properties of commercial development. I also note that this bill, as mentioned by the Minister, ensures mishandling of trust money, which would, will be punishable with harsh penalties and I know that it's 250,000 or three years in jail. I believe that these uh, penalties are necessary and will ensure that red developers are responsible and will take care of uh, the buyers as well as the residents. I know that this bill ensures that disputes between communities in strata development will be, will, be, will be dealt with by a tribunal. Today we have a lot of problems. There is no tribunal and a lot of times the YBs of the area have to come in and help mitigate problems and issues. Honourable Dato Amar Speaker, this Strata Management Bill 2019 is certainly a pathway in ensuring all strata buildings and their common areas be properly managed and maintained for the benefit of both owners and tenants. I therefore humbly support this bill 
and uh, thank you, Honorable Tato Amas Speaker. Um, I have something else to add here. I noticed that uh, YB Bunding is very interested in development as well and are very concerned about penalties. I may have built one or two houses before for sale, but I would like to say that even when I make a loss, I still deliver whatever I promise. I don't cheat and I don't tell lies like some people do. Thank you very much, Dr. Amas Speaker.